Welcome to this video on constructing redox equations. This is our second video on uh, using another method for doing this. Remember this is situations where we can't just sort of use educated guesswork. Um, and this method is called combining half equations. So we're going to use this when half equations given. And that's quite commonly the case if you're using things like data to do with standard electrode potentials. And I would suggest that this is also the method to use when we've got harder equations to balance because it's essentially a divide and conquer approach splits the balancing up into two easier portions. Now in this video we're just going to look at how we combine the half equations uh, in a subsequent video we will look at how you actually construct the half equations. So let's begin with this example um, and the, the, core, the sort of key to this method uh, is understanding uh, that we must have the same number of electrons in both half equations. So if you look at the top equation here, um, five electrons are needed to reduce manganate in this case. Uh, but the hydrogen peroxide in the second equation only releases two electrons. Now that can't just be combined directly because you need five electrons for one process, but you only get two from the other. And so we must uh, have equal numbers of electrons in that case. So the first uh, thing that we need to do before we combine is to multiply all species in a half equation so that the same number of electrons are found in both half equations. Now in this case it's quite a difficult one, um, but the lowest common multiple of 5 and 2 is 10 electrons, and so what we're going to need to do is to multiply the top equation by 2 and the second equation by 5. So if we do that here, we're going to have 2MnO4 minus 16H plus 10 electrons, 2MN2 plus an 8H2O, uh, and the bottom one to multiply by 5, we're going to get 5H2O2s, uh, 502s, 10H plus, and 10 electrons. So then we can just go ahead and combine these two, uh, which is just simply the case of adding all the species on the left to together and the species on the right together. If I had a bit more space, I'd probably do this on one line, but just keeping everything on the correct side of the arrow to avoid any problems. This is a real site where you might end up uh, in difficulty, so just make sure you take your time uh, to make sure that everything uh, has been copied correctly. So then our final step is to cancel any species which are common on both sides after combining. Now the electrons here will always be in common and you should have exactly the right same number of electrons, so the 10 electrons can be cancelled. But we also see by checking here that actually there is an H plus on the left and H plus on the right. So what we're saying here is we need 16, we only we produce 10. So actually overall we only need 6. So we can lose the 10 here and we can uh, change the 16 to 6. So our final equation would be as follows. And we should just satisfy ourselves that that's fully balanced by checking that it balances for atoms. And checking that charges also balance. Which they do in this case. Um, but you must make sure that you are checking that very carefully when you come to writing these equations. Well, here's another example for you to have a go at. See if you can write a balanced redox equation when these are your two half equations. Well, let's see how you got on. So first step was to be to multiply the species in the half equation so that you have the same number of electrons in both. Now, in this case, we've got 1 and 2. So... Multiplying the top equation by 2 should give us 2 electrons, and the bottom equation's already got 2 electrons in. So when we do that here, we're going to have 2Fe3+, plus, 2 electrons, 2Fe2+, plus, and the second equation is essentially unchanged. Then we can combine. So 2Fe3+, plus, plus 2 electrons, plus 2 iodide, goes to... 2Fe2+, plus, that's I2, plus 2 electrons. Uh, we're going to cancel any species that are common uh, in both sides after combining, uh, which in this case is just the electrons. 
So we lose the two electrons there, and the two electrons there. It balances in terms of atoms and charges, and this is our final redox equation.